sketch we're going to start playing around with while loops so here we go we're going to show you a different way to use while loops before we use while loops to loop on the same question are we there yet in this case we're going to use it to repeat code and we're going to create um, something we're going to call a counter it's just a way to count the number of repetitions so here we go I'm going to cheat by copying and pasting a bunch of code I'm going to set my tempo to 100 to make it better for a hip-hop groove and then more of a hip-hop tempo, hip-hop BPM. And then you'll see I have my vocals clip, which is variables, variables, like a name tag. So I have variables, vocals, and my loops, vocals, which is for loops, while loops, repeating like a music track. I create these variables, uh, the, 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 these two variables right here, and then I just set them to the value of these different um, audio tracks. So those are just that's just basically my chorus, right? Um, now I'm going to put track equals one. So I'm going to start it on track one. I'm going to start it, measure one. And I'm going to end it twenty, and then I'm just going to drop in a single beat. I'm going to use Fit Media put, to put in Hip Hop Dusty Groove 009 at the whatever track equals. In this case, track equals one. Start equals one, and then end equals twenty. So let's I'll run that, and you can see all that really does is just create this one beat. The big, this beat will sound like that. Totally works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a variable to count the number of times we are going to loop. We're going to call it repeats, just because it's like repeats, repetitions, whatever it could be R. It doesn't matter what we call it as long as we're consistent with the name of the variable. We'll show you how we're going to use it in a second. First, I'm going to advance the track by one. So I'm going to increase track so because tra it's reading top to bottom. So now track now equals one, I'm going to say plus equals one, the track value is now equals two, so the next media clip that it inserts, it will insert it on track number two, I'll keep start where it is, now I'm going to start this while loop, which I'm going to call it, say while, that's my keyword for starting the loop, repeats, which is the variable I just created right here, is less than or equal to two, so it starts at zero, and it's going to repeat what it's doing is going to keep checking each time it does a loop um, to see if this value of repeats has changed to 2. It's going to keep on uh, going until basically until it hits 3 because when it hits 2 it's still the well repeats it really needs for repeats to be greater than 2. It's, maybe that's while repeats is less than three, let's do it that way. That might be an easier way to think about it. So while repeats is less than three, so it'll be zero, one, two. It, as long as repeats is less than three, repeat this block of code will keep on looping around. So one, two, three. And now I'm going to go and head and insert media. And I'm just going to put in my variables vocals, that's the vocals track for variables, variables, like a name tag, and then I'm going to put in start, and then I'm going to, I'm going to increase the start, so start plus equals two, so it's going to push that out a couple measures, and then I'm going to go insert media, then I'm going to go loops, oops, underscore vocals, and then track, which is just the track value which is now track two and start so I'm gonna have it start the start value it did start at one I've now increased track to by one to track two and start is now increased by two so start now equals three so the value of start equals three so when I insert media here and I refer to start now start equals three and then now notice what for insert media the difference between insert media and fit media is insert media just takes three values the track uh, the, sorry the sound clip which track it is and the start it'll play it till the end of that sound clip that sound clip is two measures or ten measures it doesn't matter it's just going to play it for the entire length of the sound clip whereas fit media I can tell it when to start and when to end and so that's my loops vocals so it's going to be four loops while loops repeating like a music track then it's going to go start plus equals two again kick it out a couple measures and then look at this one. This is where it gets, this is the interesting part. Repeats plus 
equals 1. Now what that does, it's telling this, it's going to say, okay, while repeats is less than 3, do this block of code, because I put in the colon here, I've got four spaces, so it's going to keep on repeating it, and then it's going to increase this variable repeats by 1. So the next time I run it, repeats will equal 1, which is less than 3, so it'll repeat the code, then it'll increase repeats by 1 again, then it'll equal 2, and I'll say, is that less than 3? Yep, it'll repeat it again, and then It'll, and then it'll increase the variable by 1, and the last time it'll equal 3, so it'll break. Okay, so here we go. We're running it. This is what it's going to look like. So you notice it dropped in variables, variables like a name tag, for loops, while loops, repeating like a music track on track 2. Then it, it skipped a couple measures, and then it did, it did it again, because this is the way the loop works. It drops it in, and then it inserts it again because now it, set, it says repeats equals 0, and so it inserts it once, repeats equals 1, so it inserts it again, and does the loop again, and repeats then equals 2, and then it inserts, it's, it's insert the uh, variables, vocals, and the loops vocals again, and then it increases the variable repeats again to now it equals 3, and then the condition says, well, while repeats is less than 3, well, if it equals the 3, then then it's no longer less than three, so that's when it stops. So it basically repeats this blo block of code three times because it's checking the value of repeats, and this is what it'll sound like. Variables, variables, it's like a name tag. Four loops, while loops, repeating like a music track. Then it repeats it again. Variables, variables, it's like a name tag. Four loops, while loops, repeating like a music track. So you get the idea. It repeats the vocals three times because I've told it to keep on repeating this block of code in a loop until repeats is uh, greater than two. or you know, this, As long as it's less than three, it'll repeat. Once it is greater than or equal to three, it'll stop. Well, actually, when it, when it equals three, it'll stop. So that's one way to use while loops is to create a little count, counter variable, which we could call repeats or we could call it counter, and then as long as we're consistent, it'll work. So while counter is less, see, now I'm just, it's a different variable name. It's the same function. It's the same, like, uh, outcome. It's just going to create a variable to just keep on counting the number of loops. And this time I'll run it, and you'll see it works perfectly fine. I've just been consistent with this variable name. So there we go. Get into it. Play around with it. And we'll see you again on Python MC.